now look at this just about to uh, do the breakfast washing up with the side hatch open just look at that sky look it's the first time we've managed to have the side hatch open for months oh and look here comes a boat You, friend. It's marmalade. Not Mar yet, it isn't. No, well, I hope it'll be. The last lot wasn't that successful. It was a bit runny, wasn't it? But um, it tasted great. Though. Orange and grapefruit marmalade this year. So. This is the first time you've made marmalade <laughs> on a boat. On the boat. Yes, it's no different to land, though, is it? To be honest, the number of times people ask you, "How can you make so and so on a boat?" is absolutely no different to land, is it? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Oranges and grapefruit peeled. I've now got to cut that into little slivers, which is going to make me curse and swear because the juice gets in your fingers. And then, um, yeah, we'll start cutting this up and making it into marmalade. Mm, yum, good yum. One of the Nanoboat channels we used to love watching is Nanoboat Chronicles, uh, Chris and Shell. Their channel got taken down for some reason, nobody knows why. Uh, I guess they're appealing, but they've managed to get another channel up and running in the meantime uh, it's called Chris and Shell S-H-E-L-L -L. Uh, they're going to be doing a little bit of a twist on just narrow boating they're, they're very outdoorsy people they like to run and cycle and climb hills etc uh, so go and have a look at their channel um, give them a bit of support give them a thumbs up and maybe subscribe uh, really nice photography on, the, on his opening uh, intro yeah so uh, all the best to you both We're heading into Rugby and we're at Hillmorton Top Lock, uh, which is interesting in so much that one it's their single locks now on this Oxford Canal single width but these are two locks together so uh, this Hillmorton flight of three locks I think is three locks or four three three I think, three, I think yes. yeah is uh, they're all there's two locks side by side so uh, facilitates faster movement because these three locks apparently are the busiest locks on the whole network <laughs> it's funny with, really isn't it yeah with 10,000 fills a year but uh, we've only seen one boat today haven't we yeah. in the three hours we've been moving about today and it's just the best day for cruising isn't it, it oh, just... it's beautiful it's warm, I've got to take this off, it's too hot. Yeah, so once we got through these three locks here, uh, just another mile or so before we moor up for the night. And then uh, we're going to see Alan from N My Narrowboat Venture. That's right. Yes. yes. <laughs> and also we're meeting up with Bears Aboard. Yes. Uh, who are going to come down, Andy and Steve. Steve. <laughs> we're going to come down <laughs> and uh, have a beer with us by the looks of it. So that's all very interesting, isn't it? What are you doing, Fran? We're out with um, other boat tubers tonight, having a boat tuby night out. With? We've got Bears Aboard, Andy and Steve, and we've got 
Alan from Narrowboat Venture. My, my narrow, narrow, my narrow boat, boat Venture. venture. Sorry. Right. And uh, we all happened to be in the same place, didn't we? So Which is just so happens. We came out of uh, <laughs> a drink and we've had dinner as well now. So. Very nice at this time. So, um, dogs are at home and it's my round. Again. It's been quite a boating week, hasn't it? Narrow boat girl and yeah. past a couple of other very famous YouTubers, but we won't say who they are. <laughs> oh yeah, we passed Jono's boat, but he wasn't at home. We knocked on the roof, but he wasn't in. So uh, we've got to go into rugby as well, haven't we? For Yeah, new glasses. Lost one pair in the cut when we first came aboard, and the other pair are so scratched you can't see where I'm going. Um, was worried, a little bit worried about doing that, but in fact, you can go into Specsavers and have your eye test, order your glasses to be picked up wherever you want at a different branch. So we've done that, which has worked out really, really well. So I might be able to see where I'm going in the future. That'll be nice, won't it? <laughs> Just bumping and crashing in the locks. Other news, uh, we've booked the boat to come out of the water in June. It's uh, 2nd of June, is it, I think? I think so, yeah, 2nd, 3rd of June. And that's going to happen near Stafford. So uh, we booked it for a week. And it feels really good, doesn't it, to have that booked. We've had, I don't know if we've been a bit moany lately on our <laughs> vlogs, but you we've been a bit been. disrespectful to the boat. And we've got a little bit overwhelmed with things that we think need doing to it and the jobs and as you have picked up we're not good at DIY we don't particularly like DIY and it's got on top of us a couple of times and we've been sort of half thinking about should we change the boat only playing with ideas really but we had a look around um, a marina the other day with some friends who were looking up for buying a boat and really um, pulled me back to reality when you look at the kind of boats you can get for the prices that we paid for this yeah they were leaking and terrible disrepair let alone what's going on in the engine or outside of the boat really you know not very nice at all and it's uh, drawn us back to yeah. what we've got how lucky we are, we are lucky. It? it's uh, compared with some of the boats we went on costing 40 to 50 thousand uh, we've got a lovely little boat here. So we're really, <laughs> really happy. So we're really enthused about what we've got again, haven't we? Aren't we? And uh, really pleased to be getting her out of the water and getting the bottom, getting her bottom blacked, yes. <laughs> so to speak. And yeah, yeah. I think sometimes it's just good to look around you a little bit so you can appreciate what you've got. 
But in the meantime, we're going to be in rugby for a few days. Uh, we've got the decorating bug and there's some uh, B&Qs and where, uh, home bases there. We can get some paints and bits of wood and everything we need. So we're going to stay still for three or four days and uh, do some work on the boat. You heard it here, didn't you? Yeah. This is... <laughs> Every time we say we're going to do something, somebody phones up and says, do you fancy meeting up or do you want to come home to so us for a weekend? Please, you know, no so. invitations for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Just ignore us and maybe we can get the work done because it doesn't take much to distract us, does it? <laughs> One thing about getting the boat out the water, you're paying for it to be out of the water, so you're going to force yourself to get a lot of work yeah. done on the outside, aren't we? And we've so. got a really good deal. It's £260 for a whole week out of the water with power, showers um, and everything that you need. So rather than rushing to do it in a few days, we've got a whole week. So we can get that done and a little bit of painting done on the yeah. boat and anything else You'd like to have your tiller sorted out, wouldn't you? I would like to have my tiller sorted out. <laughs> this is too long, look. If you're driving the boat, it's just about gets by you. Um, we've had a couple of near misses with it, so we want it taken off. Well, I, reckon we, I reckon we should have it cut to here, and then with a nice brass what tiller. What will you have? Should we have a, a viewer's boat on what we yeah. should have on our tiller pin? And a tiller pin Answers with a on. nice wooden knob at the end. So it's no, going to be no longer than that. So we can, you know, move it because it's very, it's very short on space at the back wow. here. Yeah. So that would be a, a nice thing to do. Obviously, if it doesn't cost too much. So that's it. Let's get going yes. then. That's it. All much. the news we've got. And. Uh, Catch you later. Bye. Well, it looks like we've got a bit of uh, profound words or poetry on these locks so we've got working water climbs carefully down this door makes depth captive for a while mm. Done. You better get back on board now before oh. it goes too far down. Oh yeah, we're useless at this. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and if you like what you see hit that subscribe button and the reminder and you'll get notifications of uh, new videos and also we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> all is floating our boat. All is floating our boat. And please consider becoming a Patreon. Uh, there's a link at the end of the video and also down below. Uh, visit our page and have a look. Anyway, thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. Well, 
I guess that's got something to do with this. There's progress happening over there, Fran. All progress, is it? 